Hello there and welcome to spelling, punctuation and grammar lesson four. So this particular question is on parts of speech. So let's have a look at different types of grammar that we have here. So noun, first of all, noun is, an ex is, a, word, uh, is, a, is a word for a person, a place, a thing or an idea. So example, a young girl bought me a very long letter from the teacher and then she quickly disappeared. So here we've got the noun as the girl, because it's a person. Then we have a letter, because it's a thing. And then we have a teacher again, because it's a person. So a preposition is a word used to link nouns, pronouns, or phrases to other words within a sentence. So for example, the young girl brought me a very long letter from the teacher, and then she quickly disappeared. Oh my, the word from, is a preposition in this particular sentence because it's coming from a certain link. Preposition could also be other words like below, above, on the side, and so on and so on. In other words, placement. Adjective is a word used to modify or describe a noun or a pronoun. So the young girl bought me a very long letter. So here we can see an adjective is a descriptive word and it's describing the girl as being young and it's describing the letter as being quite long. Pronouns, a pronoun is a word used in place of a noun. So for example, the young girl brought me a very long letter from the teacher and then she quickly disappeared. So here we can see me is a pronoun and she is a pronoun as well. So the first question that we have here is read the sentence below what type of word is the word strict? So do you think the word strict will be a noun, a preposition, an adjective, or a pronoun? So I would say the word strict could be a descriptive word, uh, an adjective, because you're using it to describe a noun or a pronoun. So my teacher is very strict. So because we're using the adjective word strict to describe the teacher, that means this could be an adjective. So for every question, please make sure that you read the image on the top because it will help you in terms of a revision to be able to answer the rest of the questions. Good luck with these. We'll go through these in our next lesson. Thank you.